Okay, so um, this is the freezer, fridge, and boil containers here. Um, and the the ones in the for the freezer and fridge were sitting in the freezer, and then the fridge for an hour and a half. The boil one, I let it sit out so that it would cool down, so I could use the ORP meter with it, and pH meter with it. So I'm gonna do the freezer. It has it's not actually frozen all the way, but it has ice. So I'm just gonna actually measure the temperature here. So that. I'm pretty sure it'll say 32, we're close to it. Yeah. So that says 32. And now we'll put these in here and turn on the meters. And see what that says. Okay. So eight points. Eight point eight. Hmm. Just gonna let it sit up down a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty stable. So 10, we'll say 10 and 4, 60. Negative 460 for the, uh, for the ORP. I wonder if the, the cold makes the meters not work as well. Okay, so now we're going to do the boil, and we'll, we'll do the temperature on this one too. And hmm. Wow, that's a positive ORP. Hmm. It's still alkaline. It's nine point I wonder if that's right for the ORP. Yeah. Okay, so the pH is 9.9. .9. And the ORP is 103, positive 103. So that's something to note. It, although it does still keep the pH, the ORP kind of goes out the window with the boiling or heating to that degree. This one was in the fridge. Um, and I'm, I'll do the temperature for it to find out how cold it got. So this is like 50, sorry, it's hard to read. There's like a glare, like 51. 
degrees. Now probably I should have done this fridge one in the bottle and you filled it all the way to the top, like overflowing, and it might have tested out a little bit better. But it looks like it's a 10.5 and negative 381, <clears throat> 300, oh boy, 300 and, we'll just say 300 and, 85. Okay, so actually just one more test. I wanted to pour a glass of water. Just a new glass of water right now. And then we'll do a before and after. A before and then after of uh, putting ice in it and just kind of letting it sit there for a little bit to get cold. And uh, I'm just curious to see if, if you just put ice in the water, is that... Will that do anything? Let me grab some ice. And this ice, we actually use ionized water to make it. So 